Yo, I just reached 72 hours of the water fast. I feel amazing. Today I woke up with so much mental clarity. Woke up at 5.30, super focused, really able to do my work. And the first two days I honestly wanted to quit so bad. I was craving sugar. I was questioning if it was all worth it and just feeling amazing today, really. Two months ago, I decided to stop eating food for five days. Yes, you heard me right. All I drank was water and the results were unbelievable. Water fasting has a range of proposed benefits from weight loss to mental clarity to an increase in autophagy, spike in human growth hormone, healing scars, healing old injuries and spiritual awakenings. So I thought I'd give it a shot. So I'm about to have my last meal in around two hours and then I will not be eating anything for seven days. So today is the 30th of October and I will have my next meal on the 6th of November. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so it's time for a weigh-in. Yeah, so as you can see, just weighing in at around 94 and a half kilos. Um, I'm not too happy with this number. I'm trying to hopefully drop to 90 kilos by the end of this fast. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see how much weight I really lose. I just finished my last meal before my seven day water fast. It was so good. I'm going to really miss the lamb. It was genuinely delicious. Um, but yeah, I'm doing this for my health. So stay tuned. Yo, it's day one of my water fast. It's roughly 1 p.m. and I haven't eaten food in just under 24 hours. Yeah, I'm feeling fine. Um, there's no need to eat food right now. I'm feeling amazing. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. As you can see, after one day, I'm already down around half a kilo, um, which is absolutely amazing. So as you can see in these clips, I'm drinking a lot of water, but water is not the only thing I'm drinking. I'm making sure I'm getting my electrolytes in, specifically sodium, potassium and magnesium, which would help with my energy and my fatigue levels. So what I do is I bought this thing called light salt from the store and it's got 50% potassium, 50% sodium. And then as you can see, I take um, nine magnesium tablets every day to help replenish my magnesium levels. Yo, I just reached 72 hours of the water fast. I feel amazing. Today I woke up with so much mental clarity. Woke up at 5.30, super focused. Was really, um, really able to do my work. And the first two days I honestly wanted to quit so bad. I was craving sugar. I was questioning if it was all worth it, but I'm down to 1.6 kilos in three days and just feeling amazing today, really. Yes, just going over more in depth what I do, um, this is a common practice in the fasting space. You take around two to three grams of sodium per day, um, a couple of teaspoons, mix it in with your water, and I just find it really helps uh, yeah, balance the electrolytes and uh, help you feel energized. And as you can see, I spilled a little bit, but yeah. See, I think day three is the golden point because a lot of the studies show that your um, autophagy peaks at day three, which is when your body starts to go into your own cells and um, renew them and regenerate new cells and also human growth hormone spikes by I believe 200 or 2000 I'm pretty sure it's 200 percent and I think that would explain a lot of the benefits that I'm feeling had a great workout um, no food for 72 hours but yeah I'm just not craving food at all I don't need to put any food in my body I'm not hungry I can just I could do this forever to be honest and it's not unhealthy I've, I feel great it's good for your body my body's healing so yeah and I'm also having the realization that I get a lot of my comfort from food, even on the carnival diet where it's just meat. Um, I noticed that, yeah, I, I'm looking for other ways of comfort. I'm meditating, I'm 
cold showering, um, journaling, and I'm not as reliant on food to feel this, you know, not whole, but to feel this thing inside of me. Um, I'm looking at other places and it's really good because, you know, I don't want to be reliant on food if, you know, when I'm older and if, I'm, if I don't have much money or something happens, we go to war or something, I can survive on food for, survive with no food for like seven days, which is, I think is a great trait. Today is day four. As you can see, I got a fresh haircut. Um, my hair was getting pretty long, so I just decided to mix it up, you know, reward myself, keep myself going. Um, by day four, I'm not gonna lie, I was really feeling it a lot. My plan was to go to seven days, but now I was considering only going to five. Uh, I tried to up my electrolytes, it didn't really help too much. I was feeling pretty lethargic. The way it was falling off though, I could feel my body healing and I, and I just kept pushing it through. Okay, day five, the last day. We made it five brutal days. It was honestly very, very, very challenging mentally. I mean, if you think you're tough mentally, try a water fast. It's, it's, quite, it's quite challenging and I think it's meant to be. I think that evolutionary through periods of times when we would have had no food to hunt, I think our body would have had to strip resources from us, strip fat cells, uh, nutrients from us in order to ensure survival and give us the most performance we can to, you know, survive. But then I think after, you know, the first few days when I was feeling amazing, it really, really started to hit me on, you know, the later days, day five, and I just needed some food, needed that replenishment of nutrients. But I stuck it through for the video. I was trying to do seven, but I literally couldn't even record videos at this point. So... <laughs> The weight loss though, 91.75 kilos. Wow, that's, I started at 94.45. So that's three kilos in five days and that's a lot. And I can imagine it would be much, much more for people who who weren't previously in a fat adapted state, who weren't in a ketogenic, uh, in a state of ketosis or in a carnival diet because, because as we know, carbs are osmolytic, which means they hold water. So a lot of the weight you would be losing is water weight, but I believe I didn't really lose any water weight and it would have just been pure fat. And a lot of people think that if you don't eat food for a period of time, you're gonna lose muscle. That's just not true. It just really isn't. I've seen it through anecdotals and I've also seen it through an evolutionary perspective. I mean, if you think about it, your protein, your muscle, is your lean body mass is the last thing your body's going to burn. It goes from carbohydrates, then fats, then proteins. And it doesn't make sense for your body to strip the thing that's going to give you the speed and the aggression and the, uh, the power to hunt in times of need. It seems like it would only strip off your fat. I mean, unless you are extremely low body fat, then sure, you would probably lose a bit of muscle. But my overall experience was very positive on this water fast lifestyle. Maybe once a month, I'll do a three-day fast. Um, I know a lot of people do alternate day fasting. They do fasting every week, maybe 48 hour fasting. It can have so many benefits and I've used it as a mass proponent for my weight loss. I've lost 29 kilos in the last five months through a combination of water fasting and using the carnival diet to keep the weight off because people think that, oh, you did a water fast and you lost three kilos, but when you eat you're gonna gain the weight all back on straight away. But this isn't the case. I didn't gain any weight when I started eating again and I was eating a lot. Um, I think that's because usually when people water fast, they have carbs and carbs hold water so you gain weight, but I was losing pure fat. So yeah, I really think it's worth a shot. It's a good spiritual and mental uh, adventure. It's you know a good test. It has a lot of health benefits. It's helped me a lot with my injuries. Uh, decrease inflammation, increase autophagy. A lot of new and interesting information is coming out on it. People are getting help with cancer on it. Uh, it's starving the cancer cells. And I do think that is that a form of, um, it is a form of keto dieting or being in a ketogenic state. So yeah, uh, let me know uh, guys below in the comments if you want me to do more videos on the topic of water fasting, uh, the benefits, 
uh, my routine on it because uh, I've done it a lot and I've done quite a bit of research on it. Uh, it's really, really effective for weight loss in my opinion. Um, and also, water fasting, it seems to not give you um, loose skin because I lost a lot of weight and I didn't get any loose skin. And a lot of people get that experience as well. So yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge that I did. Sorry that it was two months ago. Um, just things happen. I lost some of the footage. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of these. And make sure to like and subscribe. See ya.